little charcoal dust on a chamois cloth, and this time we'll work off of a toned little spot. So we'll just do a little tone here. Got a little charcoal dust, dip in there. We'll see what happens. This is kind of fun too. It just sort of gives you a chance to practice these techniques without too much angst. You're not too invested five minutes of your life. Here we go, and let's start the next one. Step one, skull and axis. The first minute is used to determine the top and bottom of the head along with the axis. Lightly draw a line running down the middle of the face and make a swift linear loop to describe the upside down teardrop shape of the cranium and mandible. Halfway between top and bottom of head, place eye sockets. Then, halfway between eye sockets and bottom of chin, place bottom plane of nose. Then, halfway between nose and chin, place mouth. The horizontal ellipses wrap all the way around, as if the head were transparent. If you have time, describe the mandible, keeping in mind that the ear hole is located just above the hinge of the jaw. Step two, big shapes, important shapes. During the second minute, squint your eyes to simplify everything into light and dark. Think like a copy machine. Draw angles to describe edges and the planes of the face. Use light hatch marks to mass in the big dark shapes, shadowed planes, and cast shadows. Use an eraser to subtract tone for the light shapes. Locate the triad area of nose and eyes. Use geometric shapes such as circles to indicate the tip of nose, cheeks, and chin. Maintain light pressure. Step three, core shadows. During the third minute, seek out the core shadow at the turn of form. This is where light meets dark. Use angles to apprehend shadow edges. Then hatch across the form to fill in the shadow shapes. Shadow values are darkest at the turn so you may begin to use a bit more pressure to describe the core shadows in order to model the features of the face. Step four, accent marks and lines. While squinting your eyes, search for the very darkest darks that will serve as accents, such as the darkness created where the upper lip meets the lower lip, the nostrils, the pupils of the eyes, and the shadow cast by the hood of the eyelid. Also, look for edges that may be stated with confident lines. Intensify the pressure to strengthen the study with dark accent marks and lines. Step five, free draw.
This is the home stretch. Now you are free to finish by any means. You may smear, erase, or simply use the time to restate all of the elements needed for a head study. Now is the time to draw in an expressive and calligraphic manner. The fifth minute is fun and magical. Are we having fun yet? I'm having a little bit of fun. Let's get those eyebrows. Finally doing some accent marks. It's like a slow poke. What is wrong with that timer? Okay, well, we see where we're going here at least. I'm sure you'll do fabulously. But surely you see how addictive this is. Like you're going, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Getting it and getting it. Hey, how many minutes now? <laughs> Whoops, my secret's out. Five minute head studies really take eight minutes. <laughs>